Remember, this ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. He was not even supposed to play tackle football. This is business. No smile, no nothing. That's, that's dangerous in our game. You gotta want this to go through this type of pain all the time. You gotta want this. And I believe George is the best running back in the country. What's up, Seagull fam? This is GP, four-star running back, Nancy Suffolk Academy. This is my Seagull day-to-day. When I first saw George, he came in a little timid, um, didn't know what was going on. I asked him, uh, you think he's ready? He said, yeah. About 15 minutes later, he was outside throwing up. But George, man, his passion is like no other. You got to push through that, you know what I'm saying? Here, take your time, squeeze. Now I'm squeezing the court. He works hard, and that's, that's what I try to get these kids to understand. Like, nothing is going to be given to you. We sat down. I asked him what he wanted, what he wanted to accomplish. He told me, and since that day forward, we went full force. And when you got talent and you got hard work mixed together, that's just like limitless. So you gotta love the process. You gotta love this We saw it early. We saw that, we saw it early, because when he was five, he was supposed to play flag football. He was not even supposed to play tackle football at five <laughs> in the Pop Warner here. But I had him out there practicing with us, and the defensive coach was like, man, put, let him play, put him in there. And we put him in there, and right off the bat, you could see, he was playing, he started off playing linebacker. He was playing linebackers for us at five, and we were playing Pop Warner with the six and seven year olds. So we could see the quickness, the speed, we could see all that at playing linebacker. And then we moved him over to running back, and it was, we, we knew, we knew after that. He was probably 10 years old. And so I was sort of playing with him as they got in the truck. You know, hey, you know, like he's my baby, hey, George, uh, you know, and, and he turned and looked at me with this serious look and he said, mom, this is business. No smile, no nothing. And I'm like, mom, push through. This guy here, he's on another level. There we go. Remember, this ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. I think since June, he hasn't missed one day of training. We go four or five days a week just because he want to be great. He want to be one of the best in the country. And I believe George is the best running back in the country. Man, he's got a, a really unique blend of size, skill, and speed. It's, it's kind of one of those cliches where you, you like to see a certain type of athlete play certain positions. He kind of has all the attributes you'd like to see in your running back and really just your offensive playmaker because he does a little bit of everything. He catches the ball well, he's obviously had, got some speed, and he's got quickness. But the thing I think that sets George apart is his instincts. I think he sees things a step or two ahead uh, before they happen. And before you know it, if he's got some, some space, he's finding it. And that's, that's dangerous in our game. How far he's come as a person is what I'm most proud of. He's just a, he's a great teammate. He's somebody who cares about others. He wants to set the right example. And really, I think he's worked as hard at becoming a leader as he has in becoming a great player. And, and they're both coming together at the right time. So it's something I'm, I'm really proud of. Come on. It's really Come on. amazing, there we go. you know, and I feel proud and feel blessed for him to be in the situation the process, that he's bro. in right now. And I try to always talk to him about that this is just the beginning and you have to stay focused, stay humble, and continue to work. Because just because you're noticed now, if you don't work, you can still get lost in the shuffle in this process. The way this thing works, you have to continue to stay on top of your game and work every day. You have to put that work and that commitment in. I try to tell kids all the time, you gotta be consistent at this. You gotta be consistent at this. And a lot of kids, they don't want it bad enough. You gotta want this To go through this type of pain all the time, you gotta want this. You gonna go through adversity, but at the end of the day, it's about, do you really want that? 
Like, do you want to put your body through this type of pain? You see what I'm saying? Always was point guard. He would play for different age groups. He would always play up his age, and then he would always play up. But he would play game after game, after, and he would just give it 100% game after game. It's like he would not stop. You know, he was just that, just determined, I'm not going to stop, I'm going to play, I'm going to give him my all, I'm going to go, go, go. At the end of the day, he was like this, but just giving it his all. That's just the joy. The one interesting part of the time we're living in is that we're all living in the same time. Everybody is dealing with COVID in one way, shape, or form. And it, it's, you know, it might differ in how it affects you, but we're all being affected in some way. Not meaning to demean anybody who's been affected by COVID, but, but here's a kid who seemingly had the whole recruiting process kind of halted. And instead of saying, woe is me and being negative, this guy turned it into a positive by just going to work. Um, he figured out a way he could continue to train and really put himself in the driver's seat of his recruitment, and that's exactly what's happened. Nah, nah. There we go. Ready, take off. Nah. There we go. Too much body feet. <laughs> you know why you went like this? It don't reach. Take nah. Nah. Here we go. Work. Good opportunity. I would assume. Yes, sir. All right, man. Well, I know you're busy. I know you can... Yeah, he videoing right now. He with me right now. I think he came in about 167. Now George about 186, 187. He's got way more explosive, faster. He was already fast. He was already explosive. <laughs> but we, I just added on to that. Like I said, he already had it. I just gave him the answers of the test to help him a little bit more. And then once we start finding his weakness and we tweaked a little bit of things, it's gonna get scary this season. What's up, Super fam? Y'all saw me train today. Y'all saw my high school. Y'all met my fam. What else do y'all want from me? Peace.